Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to install Apache SuperCert on Ubuntu operating system. Apache SuperCert is basically a open source, open source visualization tool. It's a web-based tool where you can uh, visualize your uh, <coughs> data in the form of uh, uh, charts uh, and dashboard. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, uh, so I'm prepared. Uh, uh, I prepared a. Uh, I'm sorry. <coughs> uh, sorry for my throat. Uh, I have a little throat problem. Uh, okay, so uh, I prepared the uh, installation steps. Uh, I'm going to uh, walk you through these steps and uh, uh, parallelly install this uh, Apache Superset on my machine. So let's start the uh, um, terminal. Okay, so either you can use the shortcut Control Alt T or uh, just go to the uh, uh, start or grid uh, uh, menu and type uh, terminal over here, right? So uh, that's how you launch your terminal. So, right, so uh, so the prerequisite for uh, SuperCert is uh, uh, you should be installed with uh, um, <coughs> Python. So um, either uh, use open source Python or the classic Python or you can use Anaconda Python. So I use the Anaconda description of Python. So I installed uh, um, uh, Python uh, version 3.11. I hope, yes, uh, 3.11 I installed. So I installed on my home directory. Uh, my username is data making. Uh, then step one would be, uh, it needs some of the uh, uh, um, uh, libraries, uh, uh, Linux libraries and other softwares packages. So we need to install those. Um, you can just run this app, apt, uh, sudo apt uh, get install command. So it is prompting the password. I use uh, uh, the password for my user data making. So uh, so I, I already installed uh, uh, these packages for uh, while installing uh, Apache Airflow. So that's the reason it says uh, uh, already uh, with the newer version. So uh, for your case, uh, it will install all these packages and it may uh, require uh, some uh, um, um, uh, additional disk space on your machine and also a good internet uh, bandwidth. So based on your internet, bad, internet bandwidth, it will take some time to install all these packages. All right. Um, then um, I'm just continuing with other packages. So. Python 3 uh, setup tools. So this is also installed and uh, let's upgrade the uh, pip. Okay, so it's already with the latest version. So I'm good to uh, proceed. So, <coughs> and also upgrade the setup tools. Uh, once this is uh, done, now uh, um, we should be <coughs> ready with uh, installing Apache Superset. So there are two ways you can install Apache Superset. One is uh, uh, creating the Python virtual environment and on top of it installing the Apache Superset. So basically Apache Superset is uh, one of the Python package. So you need to install uh, on the virtual environment or you can, so right now I'm in the uh, base uh, uh, version of uh, Apache, sorry, uh, Anagoda Python. So either you can straight away go and install it or you can create a Python virtual environment and then activate the Python virtual environment and install the superset. So I'm going to create the uh, uh, Python virtual environment using the venv uh, command. So Python and the venv is a module in one of the module in Python. So using that, I'm creating a virtual environment. So my my virtual environment, sorry, my Python virtual environment name is uh, superset venv. So this command will help me to create the Python virtual environment. Uh, you can activate. So if you do ls here, uh, you see the uh, superset uh, um, uh, venv. So I'm going to <coughs> install this, right? So um, uh, sorry, I want to activate that. So to activate it, so you can run this source command followed by the virtual environment slash bin dot activate. So my virtual environment is superset uh, virtual environment is 
activated so I can start installing the packages okay though this package so this pillow package is needed so I'm just installing this pip install pillow so once this is done now so we will install and initialize the superset first thing is install Apache superset pip install Apache superset so this is the command which is going to install the superset so superset as I mentioned it's a web based open source uh, visualization tool it's a basically a flask based application so it needs a, a flask package and other dependency python packages so it's going to install uh, a huge number of uh, packages so again it needs uh, some uh, um, additional disk space and uh, the internet uh, uh, bandwidth as well so so based on your internet bandwidth it will take some time to install so installing the collected packages so it is done so since i am using a um, broadband internet it is little faster so if you are using broadband it will be very good uh, otherwise it will take some time that's the only difference no worries then we need to install you know to uh, export the uh, uh, environment variable called uh, flash cap flash, sorry flask app and uh, set the uh, superset as a app name so i didn't i done it and then uh, so there is a superset uh, secret key so you need to put some random values for it so to generate random number uh, we can use ssl uh, rand uh, space uh, base uh, iphone base 64 uh, um, command to generate a random uh, number so it generated this number I'm copying this and uh, place it in place so basically you need to after equal to you put that number so export superset secret key equal to this number whatever generated so i am just uh, running over here that that step also done now i need to uh, uh, initialize the database okay so what is that what it does is uh, see apache superset uh, yes we know it's a um, flask based application it needs the database to store our uh, metadata information so so when you create a dashboard or uh, when you create a chart all the things are uh, 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 internally managed using some metadata so those data need to be stored right so you need a some kind of rdbms system to store these metadata so by default it uses the sql lite it's a um, embedded uh, file based database um, you can also configure with the uh, other rdbms database like uh, mysql or postgres so that needs separate installation steps so we are going with the uh, sql lite so we just have to run this command uh, db superset db upgrade so <coughs> so did it so it says uh, uh, logging was uh, configured successfully i think this um, this step is done so so you can check so if you go to the um, uh, ls uh, sorry um, um, ls iphone a and you will find dot superset is the one uh, um, um, <coughs> one file over here um, sorry one folder over here so this is uh, uh, basically um, um, uh, a folder uh, one of the hidden folder where uh, superset manages some of the things over here right so just say ls dot uh, oh, sorry ls dot superset superset and you will see this uh, uh, superset.db so that's a sql file it is creating um, sql db file uh, next thing is uh, we will create a, um, um, a f this is the command to create a um, what do you say Sup uh, user so we need a, a database uh, sorry user to log into the web application right superset web application we need to create this uh, user so i am just uh, running this command so 
it is asking the username i'm going to give the as admin first name as data making and last name as admin is state str your administrator email address data making dot training at the rate gmail.com password you can just set the password whatever you want reconfirm the password it says my user is already exist uh, yeah admin user i created a, um, in while doing the other installation so for your case it will say um, the user is successfully created right so this is step is done um, so the next thing is we are going to load uh, uh, some of the examples which comes with the superset so some charts dashboard will be available so that will be uh, loaded when you run this command so this step also done i'm just clearing this window and uh, run this command to initialize superset uh, in, uh, db uh, means uh, it is going to uh, create uh, and uh, uh, sorry create a default roles and permission for it so this is also done now finally we need to start the web server so since it's a last based application we are running the uh, uh, default uh, uh, development uh, web server uh, you can just say superset space run hyphen uh, p is port number so you can give whatever port number you want uh, the default port number i think 8088 since i'm using 8088 for my yarn uh, web ui so i'm changed it to 8099 so run this command so, so it says very good so uh, running the uh, development server and listening on this one so right click this and open it on browser so so this is the login very good login page for superset uh, just give uh, uh, admin read my user and provide the password whatever you set okay good so i am i, I have successfully logged into the superset uh, web application or uh, dashboard uh, this is the tool where uh, you log in and uh, create your own dashboard charts etc so there are many charts uh, sample charts are created um, so you can just go and uh, explore this so just go to the sales dashboard um, so here uh, the quarterly revenue is been uh, displayed here the different uh, product lines are uh, displayed here okay so so this is the uh, apache superset uh, okay so we successfully installed uh, apache superset and we were able to launch this uh, uh, application uh, superset application uh, this is a as i mentioned it's a open source uh, uh, visualization tool to create dashboard and charts i hope this video is helpful uh, if you have any queries or challenges to install apache superset please uh, uh, reach out to me and put the feedbacks and uh, queries on the comment section of this video i'm happy to help you thank you so much friends